Don't try to guess, just share the good news. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas. And today I want to talk to you guys about sharing your faith. I want to talk to you about telling people about Jesus. And I wanted to talk to you about the fact that everyone needs Jesus. Now that probably sounds like obvious to you, but I think it's something really important that we need to understand. Because I think that when we go to tell people about Jesus or we're thinking about sharing our faith with someone, I think it's pretty common for us to have a conversation in our head where we ask ourselves, does this person want to hear about Jesus? Does this person want me to talk to them about Jesus or would this person get mad or offended if I talk to them about Jesus? I think that's a pretty common conversation in our heads, but I also think that it's really flawed, right? It's got lots of problems. Like for one thing, there's a big difference between wants and needs, right? So even if someone doesn't want us to talk to them about Jesus, they still need Jesus. So in that sense, it's pretty much never a bad time to tell someone about Jesus. But also the truth is we're not that good at guessing, right? Like we might look at somebody and say, oh, well, that person looks really mean and angry and they look like the sort of person who really would not want me to talk to them about God. Or we might look at somebody and say, well, that person looks like they've got it all together. That person probably goes to church every Sunday. They they probably would be, you know, insulted if I talked to them about God because they'd be like, oh, well, of course I know about Jesus. How rude of you to assume I didn't. But listen, you don't know what's inside someone's heart. You really can't tell if someone wants to hear about God just by looking at them. We're bad at guessing. You know, I tried pomegranate for the first time the other day. I'd always thought that this kind of fruit was like a weird looking thing. I did not want to try it. I thought I didn't like it because because it looked weird. And I still think it looks weird. Like when you open it up, it looks like the sort of thing where if you were watching a science fiction movie and then like an astronaut walked up to one of these, you'd you'd be like yelling at the screen like, don't touch it. But a friend of mine convinced me to try a bite and I did and it was amazing. It was so good. It's kind of messy, but it's super tasty. And all this time I wasn't eating a pomegranate because I thought it looked gross. I was sure it would be gross because of how it looked. My instincts were bad. And it's the same with us and people, right? Like you might look at somebody and and assume you know them just by how they look, but you don't. You might look at somebody and say, wow, that person looks really mean and like aggressive and they probably don't want to hear about Jesus. They'd probably get mad at me, maybe even yell at me if I talked to them about Jesus. If I told them that God loved them, they would probably just, you know, like spit at me or something. But you don't know that. It could be that God has been working on their hearts for years and years and years. And and this is the moment where they are finally ready to believe. And they just need someone to walk them through it. You don't want to miss that opportunity. And so on the one side, I think we kind of look at people and say, they are like, you know, quote unquote, bad people. They don't want to hear about God. And sometimes you might look at somebody and say, oh, well, they are definitely already some other religion. I don't want to talk to them about Jesus because they've already made up their mind. That's not how it works. Everyone needs Jesus. Not just people who feel lost. People who worship other gods, they also definitely need Jesus. People who say, I am 100% an atheist. Those people need Jesus. Don't just look for the people who seem confused. You can tell everyone about Jesus. Everyone needs Jesus. And also sometimes I think we look at people and we say, oh, well, that person, you know, like by the way they talk or the way they behave, I kind of assume they're already a Christian, right? Like they probably already go to church and they probably already know about Jesus. Again, you don't know what's in their heart. It could be that this is a sort of like, you know, good kid. Everyone always assumed that someone told them the good news. But what if they didn't? Or what if they did, but they never believed? What if you talking to this kid about Jesus is the time when he will finally believe? What if he's heard it his whole life and it's just now going to sink in after a conversation with you? Again, you don't want to miss that. There's this really popular but really wrong idea floating around these days that it is somehow wrong or mean to share your faith. It's, it's mean to tell people about Jesus. It's mean to try to change people's mind about what they believe about God. And the truth is there are people who are mean about it, right? Like they think that somehow sharing the good news of Jesus Christ means going around and telling everybody that they're really, really dumb. If I go up to you and I say, you are super dumb because you don't believe what I believe, that's not sharing your faith. That's just being mean. Sharing your faith is only mean if you make it mean. The whole reason we tell people about Jesus, the whole reason we tell people that, that God sent his son Jesus to die for your sins and for my sins, and that if we believe in him, we will have eternal life, the reason we tell people that is because it's true and because it leads to life. It is what all of us need to hear. 
And honestly, even if you are very kind about sharing your faith, it's totally possible that you'll run into people who are very like angry and aggressive about you telling them about Jesus. It can happen. And if it does, that's fine. Just move on. But you never know. This might be the perfect time and the perfect place to tell this person about God's love for them. So my challenge to you guys today is that you would share your faith and that you wouldn't like judge people. Like the Bible says not to judge people, but we do it all the time, right? Like we look somebody up and down and we say, hmm, maybe not this person. They probably don't want me to talk to them about Jesus. Don't do that. Just share your faith and share it in love. And I'm not saying you need to stand on a soapbox and like yell at people with a megaphone. I'm not saying that every single time you open your mouth, you say, have you heard about Jesus? But I am saying that you should not trust your gut. When you look at someone and you think to yourself, they probably don't want me to talk about Jesus. Or especially if you think they don't need Jesus. Because they do. Everyone needs Jesus. And it's not up to us to guess who wants us to talk to them about Jesus. It's up to us to share the truth in love. Let's tell everyone about the good news of Jesus Christ. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video. And seriously, I think this is a very important thing. I think a lot of times people kind of get lost in the shuffle because they, they look a certain way or they act a certain way. And so we think, yeah, they don't need Jesus. Either because they really don't want Jesus or because we think maybe they already believe in Jesus. But that's a bad assumption. That's a bad thing to assume because you never know. And truthfully, if someone is already a Christian, they're not going to get mad if you tell them the good news, right? Like, I'm going to tell you the good news right now. I don't care if you've heard it a hundred million times. It's still always good for us to hear. Here's the good news. God loves you. And our sin, the bad things we do, that separates us from God. The Bible says that the penalty for that sin is death, eternal death, an eternity apart from God. But God loves you so much that he sent his son Jesus to pay that penalty for you. And if you believe in Jesus as your savior, if you believe that Jesus will save you from your sins, he will, and you will have eternal life. The only way to get to God the Father is through his son, Jesus Christ. And Jesus didn't die for you because you're perfect or because you deserve it. He died for you because you're not perfect and he loves you anyways. If you believe in Jesus Christ, you will have eternal life. And again, I don't care if you've heard that a million times, that is a truth that is always worth telling. Everyone needs Jesus.